In the remote expanse of Siberia, 1908, a quiet morning shattered when an unnatural light streaked across the sky, brighter than the sun, flooding the forest in blinding white. People froze, shielding their eyes, unsure if they were seeing dawn or the end of the world. The air trembled with an eerie hum as a massive fireball tore through the clouds, heat radiating ahead of it, trailing molten gold. Then, Silence broke into chaos. A shockwave ripped through the forest, flattening everything in a radial pattern from an unseen epicenter. Eighty million trees down. In an instant, trees lay sprawled outward like scattered matchsticks, smoke curling from splintered trunks. Weeks later, an expedition arrived. Trudging through miles of frozen wilderness, they stepped into the flattened zone, an eerie scorched plain unlike anything they had seen. The ground was hardened, soil fused into a glassy crust. No animals, no insects, no sound at all. Some knelt to examine the earth, tracing the strange glassy sheen. Others scanned the surrounding tree line for movement, weapons held low but ready. Breath fogged in the cold, each exhale loud in the oppressive silence. Night fell, lantern light swayed between the trees. The men stood guard, scanning the blackness beyond camp. Somewhere deep in the woods, something unseen shifted. Soldiers' gaze fixed on the darkness, not moving, not breathing, as if he had locked eyes with something he couldn't quite see. A beam of light swept across the trees, catching on shadows that didn't belong. Over the years, scientists have proposed many theories to explain the Tunguska event. The leading idea is that a meteor or comet entered the atmosphere and disintegrated before hitting the ground, releasing a shockwave with the force of 10 to 15 megatons of TNT, enough to flatten everything for miles. Others suggest a fragment of a comet vaporized rare atmospheric phenomena, antimatter annihilation, or even the crash of an alien craft. A century later, the forest has grown back, like nothing ever happened, yet the mystery remains.